A bolt. Yeah, that's about as close to 28 as you can get. <laughs> All right, so we have a plan for the inside of the firebox now. Since, you know, this isn't, it's going to be a bit big for what we were thinking. So, we're going to build a box on the inside. You can kind of tell by that. And then on the bottom, we're going to cut a piece of that from that black line to that black line. And then another one, weld them here to here. Put the whole thing on the bottom. And that will go right there and over. So we'll have a round bottom firebox with straight edges and top. Makes it a little bit easier to work on. Give us two inches from that to here so we can insulate it plus all the stuff on the side of the square. Nothing, it's just sitting. Let me grab the side. It's gonna be hot. Don't cut my finger off. Oh, yep. Yeah. said like there's a nice little heading, heading for the island or whatever. Oh, yeah. And oh, anyway, yeah. I that. The joke was like, uh, or they made a joke saying that the, the UI for that had the button like where it said like, Send alert. Yeah, don't send close. alert. Yeah. And then they clicked the right one and then yeah. found out that it was actually like this way instead of this. It was just the way yeah. it was designed. Yep, yep. Like that design yeah, yeah, like that can yep. cause accidents. Cut in well. <laughs> nice. Back and forth, there's a lot of people do that. Well, not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Before everybody started working from home, like they were driving, you know, eight, ten miles. I know, yeah. So I'm, you would have to put them in the front with them all the engine. All right, look at that. It's about half for me. It's, it's not. Yeah, I was looking. For it's it. pretty close. Two of them done. They're just sitting there. A little bit of welding. It's weird. You can see through it. Nothing. A little metal won't. Melted metal won't fix. It looks good though. So, so yeah. So we just need to get some some three eighths plate. To finish off the square for the inner fire box, C is going to order the uh, the insulation. The insulation from Amazon. Jeff Bezos himself. Then we got a fire pit real soon. And let's not forget about that. Oh, it's, and it's, we it's have here. A, get, nobody cares, but we have a new just some Oh yeah, metal chops off. This, this is yeah. work related. This is uh, this will do us real nice. We don't have to use the grinder wheel on the grinder anymore. Smoke coming out. Yeah. So somewhere around there. Then you turn this. Put your goggles on. Just try not to hit that one. Okay, so I just that's all it is. Torch up a little bit more. Like yeah, that way. Oh. You push them forward. I mean, like the tip angle a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that there we go. Oh, it scares me. There we go. Is it done? It's like that, it's done. All right, so what we've done today, we added that other leg that we cut off there to get this as level as we could. Line it up as straight as possible, which is not perfect, but eh, I might have work. And then we're gonna take a, uh, level or something and go down from here over to there 
and then measure all the way across or draw a line all the way across and cut into that. So hopefully what that'll do for us is then we'll be able to scoot the firebox over so we get our full uh, measurements from the front to the back. Um, because we were talking about changing how we're going to do it on the trailer. So instead of the skid up whatever 15 inches or whatever we said it was going to be, we're going to try to lower the whole deal which would mean that this back crossbar will probably end up getting cut out and then the firebox will go it will drop down we have these what i believe are just like skid plate whatever things um which go about six inches past the uh, bottom of this bar so that gives us the four inches here plus six there so ten inches possibly we could go down before worrying about hitting the ground um this last crossbar here though we're not sure if the, the uh, firebox is going to hit it if we dip it too far low. So if we go all the way to the bottom, that's going to be, uh, what do we say, three inches for the main cook chamber off of the rail here. So it'd be quite a bit lower. Um, but we're hoping to get the answer to how high we actually can go or how low we can go once we figure out how long and where the firebox is going to be sitting. Because our guess is, or I thought is, we're just going to put it out to here, slide that all the way over, and then uh, it'll just have the cylinder, not so much the sphere, showing on the top. So we'll see, which will also mean that the whole tank is going to slide up a bit further, because we were originally planning on it being right here on this this bar going all the way across. We'll probably end up putting it to about there. And then still have room for the smokestack out the top or out the front. And I've already paid for all that two by two inch tubing stuff. If we do it that way, we're probably not gonna use as much. As much. We're still planning on reinforcing now. Um, we were going to have the 18 footers run all the way front to back. We'll probably just weld them in between each member, cross member there. So still add some rigidity to it. All right, we're going to go draw a line, grind off a couple things, and then cut open to the big one. We could use that for the door or the hinge or something. Well, I don't know. Maybe the stop or something. After several hours of deliberating and many trials and lots of errors, I sold, my truck. sold the truck. Gone needs to be up there. Um, we decided to take the middle point up here, put the spot down here where the farthest forward we wanted to be was that black line, measure halfway add this dot that's, not that's probably not center and then draw a circle have that be like a little point and then take a line and go all the way around it because we tried using the uh this black line is the first one that i told you um where we took it off of the firebox but we realized that was off then we made this high-tech device out of pizza boxes to mimic the line and that's where these other two lines came from those white ones which they're close but we can't yeah. really make them line up they're close but they're not going to be perfect so our thought was if we draw a perfect circle since you have two round objects spherical objects and you do something like boop it has to be a circle right that's the thought so that's where we're at. 
we'll update you once we do something else. All right, there's our X and there's the circle all the way around. And that looks pretty, pretty centered. You can see from the side. There, so if you just imagine that cut off, another smoker button up to it. I don't want to lay underneath it, but man, is this thing like it's just a bad angle. Not ready to go. Not much left. Already. All right. Put the door hinge on it. <laughs> it looks a little thinner, huh? Is it? I think so. That might be quarter. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. If that's smaller, tighter, I don't know. And here. Alright, there it is. We push it in, set that other leg back there, and it's about as good as we could have asked for. A little bit, but it's not all the way up there, and that's no problem at all. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't see anything. It looks good. Take the back back up view. The tanks are in the way, but yeah, that looks, that looks good. It's big. Huh. I like it. All right, we think we came up with our final plan of attack for how we're gonna mount it onto the trailer. We were playing with the idea of dropping it, the firebox in the back a little bit. But we decided that we'll just drop it uh, to the trailer floor as our ground. So like this will be the, the bottom of it, which is basically what we originally planned. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit high to work with off the ground. So we're going to have to step on the trailer to get up to it, which it's going to end up being, what do we say, Alex? Like, 
If this was the ground, it's going to be like three inches lower, I think. Oh, yeah, three yeah. inches lower than what it is well, now. If we're standing on the trailer. Yeah. So this this is a little bit high already for us. Um, so I think that will work out pretty well. Then we're going to have about two feet on the side uh, from the edge of the, the tank to outside of the tires. So if you think about, like, if you're standing, there's about a foot. So it'll be a little tight. We're thinking about making some sort of extender or something out to the end since we won't be able to work from it from the ground. But I well, think it'll... Who put this tight on? I did that one. And I finally removed the metal that we bought, like, what, a week ago? And then we're going to get all this stuff laid in there. We're going to get the bottom part of the frame ready, and then we'll get everything welded up. And then our four points of contact for the trailer are going to be one, two, three, four. That's where are going to be our legs. So we'll have a little bit left over in the front. But as it sits right now, this is pretty close to where it'll be lined up. See those black dots on the tank? That's the first leg and the last leg. So, got a plan. Now it's time to do some work. After one cut to the hand and a quick trip to get a tetanus shot, we're back to work. I'm going to be working on uh, cutting the pipes here. And Alex is working on welding them. Right. Get this done double time. To figure out how to use this. This is what I cut my hand on over here. Even that stuff. It's really bad. It's about yay long or so. But. All right, back to work. In, building a trailer. Probably the last one for the night. Only have two more of those left. 
And then the frame of the trailer is done. Well, tacked in, I should say. Got to weld them all up tomorrow. Slowly but surely. And we are right back at it. As you can see, the last two beams are in. Alex finished those up this morning. I just got back. So we got the welds done underneath it. Uh, and we're just working on getting the rest of the welds done. Where are they done at? Over here? Front side. That's not a good, not a good representation. Let's see, right down here. Where is it? There it is. So hopefully later today we'll be done. All these things welded up. There she is. Hasn't touched her in a while. Quick peek at these welds. I didn't clean them off. Where's that, uh, where's your hammer thing at? See how it, let's see how they pop off. Oh, flat edge. Oh. Yeah, there it is. I made them low profile because we need to grind them down and well yeah. over it anyway so all right I wonder how long that really took let's just say that time lapse was was more than I bargained for <laughs> those bugs are eating me up should have done it from this angle but maybe once it by a GoPro <laughs> <laughs> 